Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. I hope I find you well. There is a great sunshine today. I wanted to discuss a few ideas. The first one is that very important to understand the heart is the only guide. It is the doorway to the, the intuition. It is, the, it is what comes in from, from, from the source, from the soul, from the immortal soul. So it is there is only one heart, and we all exist within the heart of God. Just the thing is, is that the mind is, is really the interference of that. So we have to align our mind and our heart. It is essential that them, we learn to think with our heart and feel with our mind so we can feel the, the energies without judgment of what is what is uh, what is happening and 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 mind mind is useful to to, to reunite the spirit and the matter Spir the purity of the spirit and the heaviness of the matter so it's like on the earth there is a great deal of thoughts that are needed to reunite the perfection of the divine universe with the, the experience of the earth. On paradise, everything is one. There is no, the, the mind of God is only involved in the expansion and the, and the integration of those who come from the universe. Well, maybe many things, and some things are beyond my consciousness and God, so we can keep on learning. So the, 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 the soul is, the, is, is really the connection to our I am present, it is to the, to the, the great source. Last night I, I, I assisted someone to connect with his higher self that that made really advance a planetary situation the spirit says you you really helped and so so it was kind of, and then i fell asleep and i ended up in this amazing celebration with that person he was like we, we drank a lot of alcohol so that's me to stay sober but that i had no choice it was just uh, i didn't it was just astrolyric and it was really really fun i'm not going to discuss the details of that but it's like i have this and the light night before I i'm having amazing dreams dreams lately so we we, we have completed we have completed the cycle, the 9-9 nine, nine really closed, the, there is really the end of a cycle, and when we're really about to start a new beginning, so it is, uh, it is kind of, uh, so it is, uh, it is understanding also that we are worthy to be to be the part of the whole, we are a drop in the ocean of consciousness, but but we are the the whole ocean in truth, huh? so so whenever we judge or we suffer or we, we or, or, or we feel the separation, it comes from the mind, from the idea that we're not worthy to, to be part of this amazing whole, uh, as well as to be the whole. Um, because the, if we tune into the egregores of, of the earth, there is all kinds of egregores, people that are adoring uh, sports, or that are adoring cars, or that are adoring money, or that are adoring celebrities, some are adoring the devil or the demons, and some are adoring God, and some are adoring love, wisdom. So, so it's very important to tune in to the highest egregore possible because they, they will be they, they, with all those, those energies. And, uh, and because the, the earth, we have a tendency, our mental conditioning, have a tendency to tune in to various frequencies on the planet Earth. But, uh, but, but those are, are rather small in relationship to the, the immense, this huge whole universe of consciousness. 90% of the universe is made of consciousness. To serve consciousness, the whole universe is inhabited, teeming with life. And so, so when we turn to the greater universe, we can tune in to the love and wisdom rather than the lower energy of the frequency of humanity. And uh, for there is a lot of darkness in the surface consciousness, and that will continue for a while. And then, But there is a lot of light on the inner plane. So we have to recenter, call on the Creator, think of God as a connect to God on, on, on the seven chakras, so the light, the light can come from above, we connect through the, the source from within the heart as well as from above. And so, uh, so, so, we, so, so we, we, we are all part of the one, now, regardless of whether we know it or not. And so when all the one re become the one, know they are the one, they haven't realized it that, but then the one will become the one and will start moving into a much higher level of, of manifestations. Uh, and so sometimes it's okay to feel overwhelmed with the challenges that we, because we're dealing with like very intense, heavy energies that are not really belonging to us, but are that's part of of this this physical reality of transmutation. So, um, so so it's like when you do that, you, God for me, it's like will always come back to put me back on track towards abundance, freedom, joy, uh, and prosperity. So, but it's like the higher self is like uh, reminding. Me that I, I am so much more than this situation. I shouldn't judge myself. So and, and present me of that freedom to come. So so it's all it's all coming together, and, and understanding there's all kind of secret secret activities that are going on beyond the scene, behind the scenes, to remove all kinds of power centers that were that were dark and energy from the 
from very, very long ago, this planet was hijacked by Archant and, and negative extraterrestrials, and they've created technology to harvest the pain of humanity by the suffering, so you don't want to feed that. Some, most of it has been clean. Um, some, there is still more to, to more work to do, but the, the energy blockages, some is, was held by technologies, others were, were held by energetic uh, blockages on the ley lines of the earth, but everything has been cleaned up, everybody's doing their part, huh? it's like there is so much to, that is happening, but understand you are worthy to be part of the whole, there is a gigantic unity of, of consciousness and everything is one, although we all have a unique experience in relationship to what we know as life, what life is, or what our life is, but in our relationship to, to to those things. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I thank you so very much for your presence, for coming to listen and support the channel and and for your, your donations if you can. I, uh, the observer of the day is a new life, a brand new life. It's like emerging of this egg, this shell. She's like sleepy, so it's like we, we, we need to time to, to, to wake up to, the, to the, the higher truth. And she's like opening her wings. She's coming out of the cocoon. We, we, we've been, uh, we, we've been um, like caterpillars, like feeding, 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 feeding. And, and then we, we have no choice. We have to enter into this cocoon. And now we're going to emerge as a butterfly, the grand monarch which is a collective awakening, the collective Christ, the collective Messiah through the unconditional love and forgiveness. With the highest wisdom is to chop some wood, to be really anchored with every experiences of, daily, of our daily life. Everything is part of this process, and, and we'll understand later why we needed to go through that before we achieve this liberation. What we need to understand is why, <laughs> the why, the power of the why. Eventually, the, 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 the questions will be answered, everything will be made clear, but we have to end the cycle. For sometimes we, we're expurging some, some karmic, karmic energies from past life, that's what we're doing a lot. Is, uh, and so, but so, so we're feeling like it's like we got a short end of the stick in relationship, but, but the situation will be reversed and we'll be able to balance it out and everything will be clear. Eventually, so you have to bear and, and have to keep having compassion towards yourself and love towards yourself, regardless of what your mind uh, or, your, or your environment may be doing. What we need to do is the blessings, to continue to bless the world, to send love and light to, to, to the situation, to receive this blessing as something that is beyond what we believe we can deserve, because what's going to be coming down from heaven is utterly beyond anything we could ever dream of before we incarnated. It's like it's the, the level of freedom that will be given. Freedom implies responsibility not to, 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 to censure the will of others. Everybody has to be able to, to, to express their own will, but we, we do not want their will to interfere on ours. So just letting go of all the, the controlling center of the, the, of the dark matrix as well. Do not uh, give them power, do not believe it, do not carry their messages. <laughs> Even if it is to complain about it or say, well, I don't want that, you don't need, just say, I, no, thank you, I, I've chosen something else. But do not, uh, to, to forward negative message through the internet is really going cross-purpose to, the, to the, the path of ascension. And the outcome is going to be the faithful heart, to be true to yourself, to be sovereign, to be tr true to those you love also. There is a great deal of, uh, of soul connections for I'm, I'm, I'm being faced with a, a family situation, a relationship situation that are very deep, and I have no choice about it. And I couldn't understand how this could work, because in, a, in, in 3D, there would be a lot of competition and jealousy and all kinds of things. But in, fi in fifth dimension, as we move into this, this relationship level of, of fifth dimension, it's love and unity, so everything will find its proper place, and, and the world balance will be found. Well, I hope this makes sense to you. I'm going to sing a little song. It's a, it's a song of, of the Beatles. It's a little song. It's called All My Loving. Close your eyes and I kiss you. Tomorrow I'll miss you. Remember I'll always be true. And then while I'm away, I'll ride home every day, and I'll send all my loving to you. I'll pretend that I'm kissing the lips I am missing, and I hope that my dreams will come true. 
And then while I'm away, I'll write home every day, and I'll send all my loving to you. All my loving I will send to you. All my loving, darling, I'll be true. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. Tomorrow I'll miss you. Remember, I'll always be true. And then while I'm away, I'll write home every day. And I'll send all my loving to you. All my loving I will send to you. All my loving, darling, I'll be true. All my loving, all my loving I will send to you. So it is important to know that we're all connected psychically as well. As we move into this collective field, as you think of someone, you become in the, you come into the presence of that soul. So, so it's like keep, keep, you can send your loving, you can continue to exchange and, and, and let the, the energy mature in your relationship. But that also teaches us before we can fully move into this unity field to be in control of our thoughts. Because if we, if we come into contact with other souls and we send them like negative thoughts, it's like it's going to blow the whole program off. So it's like we have to clear and, and po make positive in our thoughts to become to turn our, our positive thoughts oxygen breathing lucidity and, and then to 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 positive our, uh, even our physical body it has to be turned from 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 negative to neutral to positive eventually and yeah? so so it's all uh, be aware that uh, the, the power of the mind the power of consciousness is really all that we have and uh, and we can direct the flow of our life through our consciousness that uh, that, that, that had to struggle to get there huh? but we have to forgive ourselves for the struggle that the delay is uh, God asked me to be patient because you know it's like in my dream I was like celebrating and drinking I had no choice we were like we're drinking with this person and uh, and uh, after that I woke up I was like whoa uh, spirit has asked me to stay sober I hope you don't mind and then Hala came in and said well be patient it's okay <laughs> you know it's like whoa um, the observer of the day is abundance. And I had this amazing, very, very sweet dreams the night before. It was like I woke up a bit too early. Somebody woke me up in the middle of a dream. I wish I would let like, me sleep another 10 or 15 minutes to go through the dream. So it's the abundance. The abundance is, um, I'm sharing some personal things, but I, maybe you, you, hopefully you, you can program your, your dreams, your dreamscape to, to be... To, to be uh, when, when we have a nightmare it's like we're expurging negative energy that can happen but sometimes we it is a mean of communication between our soul and soul and, and our con consciousness here so abundance is about freedom abundance we always abundant we can be abundant in doubt abundant in fear abundant in, in, in anger we can be abundant but we want to be abundant in joy abundant in money we want to be abundant in creativity we want to be abundant in generosity we wanna, life is abundant in all ways Abundance is really through freedom, the ability to do whatever we want, whenever we, do, we want to do it. That's the point of freedom. It is coming. And, um, and, and so abundance can come in form of a gift. It can form of exchange. It can come as a form of, uh, of, of money. It can come as a form of opportunities. It can come in form of, it can be people. It can be uh, all kinds of ways to be abundant. The highest wisdom is complementarity. To understand there are people that will be very, very powerful in complementing us, in assisting us to find a, even a greater, a greater uh, enfoldment within our life. We have to tune into our own flow so that the, the flow of other people will not disturb us. And so also to understand we are very powerful complement to situation as well whether like we all piece of the same puzzle but but our piece is is to, to realize the power of your piece in, in all situations it can be very small it can be very big and to understand everything is alive and consciousness the, the rocks the, the plants the animals the stars everything is alive the stars are like these great neural nets that are we, we eventually they come they can come alive i've seen it it's like so amazing the pleiades they all came to me like those stars they became alive and they start talking to me that was many many years ago 
this experience that there was a, usually spiritual experiences come as something unexpected and when your mind is completely open and receptive and so so like we're going to discover the the connection to all that the stars and the galaxies and the galactic families so 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 all of that we all complementary to each other and we all part of the one we are working as one consciousness that's, that's the challenge so the mind has to accept the, this truth of the heart what we need to understand is trust, confidence, to be to be trustful, to, to to be trust trustworthy, but also to have confidence, to have trust in yourself, uh, trust in your creator, trust in your past, trust in trust in other people. When you see the light in other people, the divine light, regardless of their level of consciousness, they all have this divine light. As you look at it and and send love and light to that energy, even if the person is completely outside of it's outside of his consciousness, the healing is happening regardless. What we need to do is compassion, to be compassionate, to continue to cultivate our compassion, to do good to others, to do good to ourselves, to, to cultivate love, to be, to be generous, to be kind. And the outcome is going to be justice. Uh, true justice is, hasn't been seen on the earth for a very long time. Everything was reversed here on the earth, but uh, the, the, the goddess, um, uh, who's the, the goddess of justice, uh, I forgot who's the, the goddess. She, she was, Spirit says that she, she was killed, but she's coming back now. So, so we're going to be able to see through justice. And when, when things are just, people will we find peace because it's like a, uh, when it's unjust, it creates a lot of agitation. So, so it's about allowing to, to be fair also, to, to be able to, to be fair in relationship to situation, to be just, to be transparent, to be balanced, and to, to allow this, this higher consciousness to guide the way in order to balance things out. For there is a judgment that is coming, but it is not a punishment of us judgment. It's just a balancing scale. What comes from the ego goes on one side, what comes from the love of the soul comes on the other side, and we do want to have a lot more on, 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 on the loving side than on the fearful or hatred side. Right? For, that, uh, for those feelings are part of the process of, of, of transmuting, so do not judge yourself or blame yourself if you have negative thoughts. Yet it is very important to purify our mind, purify our thoughts, so we can, because the, the service, just the service of, of just standing still and sending this blessing and love into the, the environment or, or to the people that come into your consciousness is really assisting the whole process a lot more than what we can believe. So do not diminish the value of the, your, your spiritual work. Well, I thank you very much. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.